Hi, I'm Ryan with DIY Painting, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Zinsser Smart Prime. What it is, when to use it, where to use it, and why it's currently my favorite primer for painting kitchen cabinets. Primers are easily the most essential and often most overlooked step in painting. Get the primer wrong, and you're going to have a disaster on your hands as your paint begins peeling, allowing bleed through, or easily chipping off. Get your primer right and you're going to have a great looking and long lasting paint job for years to come. Zinsser Smart Prime is a water based modified acrylic. This follows the trend that we've been seeing in the painting industry to capture the benefits of oil based finishes in a water based product. These types of products are often called hybrids or water based alkydes. In simple terms, these are water based finishes that look like an oil based finish and have all the features and benefits of an oil based finish without the high VOCs and the paint thinner cleanup. Zinsser Smart Prime has taken the idea and improved upon it greatly though. Not only is Smart Prime a water-based finish, but it has an even lower VOC content than almost every water-based primer I've used while outperforming both the water-based primers, other hybrid primers, and even many of the oil-based primers. Zinsser Smart Prime is an interior and exterior primer that bonds wonderfully to almost all surfaces. This means you can use it to prime drywall, exterior wood, stucco, masonry, brick, cabinets, doors, trim, whatever you want. But this great primer doesn't come cheap. At $36 per gallon, it's actually a little bit on the expensive side. It's because of the price that I still use products like Kills 2 for basic drywall priming and repaints that don't need a high-end primer like this. Drywall priming and repaints don't typically require uh, primers that have great blocking and adhesion, so it's a great place to save some money. On exteriors, I like Smart Prime, but when a primer is needed on an exterior I'm painting, I often go with a self-priming product or a specific peel-stopping primer such as Peel Bond, Peel Stop, or Prime RX from Sherwin-Williams. That leaves one place that I think Smart Prime is perfect for, and that's interior wood such as kitchen cabinets, doors, windows, trim, and crown. When it comes to priming kitchen cabinets or other interior wood, then a high quality primer that has great adhesion, stain blocking, and low VOCs is necessary in my book. I've personally been using Smart Prime as my primer of choice for kitchen cabinet jobs for over six years now. Kitchen cabinets have all kinds of problems and priming is extremely important. First off, they're often coated in a layer of food and hand grease. I always wash and sand my cabinets, but I still need a primer that can handle the grease in case of missed areas or, you know, just making sure you get it primed and bonded good. Oak, which is one of the main woods I paint over when painting kitchen cabinets, is notorious for tannins that bleed through. Tannins are basically tannic acids that come out of the wood when moisture is present and it looks like a brown stain in your paint and it's most noticeable on white finishes. In the past, water-based primers could not properly seal in these tannins and you'd get bleed through if you didn't use an oil-based primer. So we would oftentimes have to either use an oil-based primer or come back with a spray can of an oil-based primer like kills original and hit all the spots. But Smart Prime does a great job of sealing in these tannins. Smart Prime is also great at bonding to glossy surfaces which you're going to run into on things like kitchen cabinets, doors, trim, and windows. A primer that doesn't bond well to glossy surfaces will end up peeling and chipping easy and just having a short life. It's also great for water stains. So if you've got a water spot in your ceiling from a leaky pipe or something like that, Smart Prime is wonderful at priming that so that you can repaint your ceiling. Applying Smart Prime is as easy as applying any other paint. You can brush it, you can roll it, you can spray it with an airless or my preferred method, spray it with an HVLP. When spraying kitchen cabinets, I like to use my Titan HVLP uh, sprayer. I thin Smart Prime down by 20%. So if I have 50 ounces of Smart Prime, I'm going to add 10 ounces of water, stir that up, and get a nice low viscosity so that when I spray, 
my atomization is finer and I get a nice smooth glass like finish. Having a primer that can be used on both interior and exterior is fantastic. I always keep Smart Prime on hand, but still go with Peel Bond on exteriors oftentimes and something like Kills 2 when I'm just priming out ceilings and walls. It's also amazing at stain blocking, especially oak tannins. One of the most important jobs for a primer is to block out stains like water, oil, tannins, crayon, rust, whatever. And I can confidently say from experience that Smart Prime does a fantastic job of this. Having a product that dries fast and can be recoated quickly is essential when painting for profit. So Smart Prime typically dries if humidity isn't too high and can be recoated in an hour. So dry to the touch in 30 minutes, recoat in roughly an hour. The higher the humidity though, the slower the dry times. It's great for adhesion to glossy surfaces. And I know many of you don't want to sand. I get comments all the time saying, can I do this without sanding my cabinets? And I out, I'm always going to say, sand, sand, you should sand. But if you're not going to sand, a good primer that bonds to glossy surfaces is absolutely essential. So another great feature of Smart Prime is that it's mold and mildew resistant which is wonderful for when you're doing uh, anything in the kitchen, cabinets, walls, anything, and bathroom cabinets, um, any basement cabinets, it's great. These are gonna be exposed to more moisture than other areas. Another thing I love about it compared to an oil-based primer is I do get the benefits of an oil-based primer, but I get to clean up with water and soap. That means my sprayer, I can take it down to a laundry tub wash it out right there. I don't have to go outside with paint thinner and you know have this smelly stuff, bad for me, bad for the environment, and then find a way to dispose of the paint thinner. Finally, the low VOCs. Um, I was shocked when I first started using Smart Prime to find out that it's 25 grams per liter of VOC content. Compared with other water-based primers, typical is about 50 grams per liter where oil-based primers are more in the four to 500 grams per liter range. And this is very important to me. When you're painting for 20 years, you don't wanna keep damaging your body over time. And I know it's important to homeowners, especially when you have kids in the house, you wanna keep those VOCs as low as possible. So in conclusion, Zinsser Smart Prime is a great primer. I highly recommend it. Perfect for cabinets, doors, trim, window, any interior wood but also great for other things like walls, ceilings, even exterior if you have to. So go pick it up, tackle your next kitchen cabinet painting project, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.